The following tutorial is brought to you by Unmasking Lemon's Thesis by me, Gloria Weber. Hi again, and we're here for another craft. One of the big things is taking comic books and mod podging them to stuff like letters that spell out people's names or boom or bam, or putting them on the surface of uh, drawers or neat little things like this wooden box I picked up at the dollar store some time ago, right? So you need something to mod podge for this craft and you need, again, comics, which ruined ones or the previews that you can get for free or real cheap. Go for it. You need a sponge. A, applicator, you need scissors for cutting that stuff out, and you need Maj Posh, which I don't have. However, I do have kids and tons of school glue. I'm using a one part water, one part school glue uh, uh, mixture, and it works just like Maj Posh. If, it, if you want a glossy finish, you just add some varnish at the end, which I have ton in the basement because geek stuff. Uh, <laughs> So yeah, you just mix it really well. This is just the mason jar, but again, I'm I'm a little lazy. And this way, real quick. So you get your stuff and you cut pictures out. I am going with a silk motif that I got variant some variant covers and stuff, and I'm gonna now apply them to this. So um, let's start with the side. I know that I want the side to open, but I also want the side to be a certain way. Sure, in order to ensure that, I'm going to cut it after I mosh podge it, which might be a terrible idea. And my phone's ringing, so hold up a second. Apparently, my alarm system is more than three years old, which I don't have one. Stupid phone. So what I'm going, I'm doing right now is sizing up the piece I want. I want a little bit of overlap, but not too much because seams and such. So here I am cutting to get the piece just the right size to fit on there. So because of the way the seams are, let's see if I can, I'm just going to go back with an X-Acto blade over that. So this is because I'm doing this, I need an X-Acto blade. You don't necessarily need an X-Acto blade unless you decide to do the exact same thing as me. Copycat. Here we get the Maj Podge. Let's see, let's just put that right on there and put that right on there, right? Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh. Whoosh, whoosh. I haven't Maj Podge since I was really little. There we go. There's the one side. I have Cindy Moon and uh, Mockingbird. Looks like uh, something's going down in the Cindy Moon story. I don't have this one yet. I'll do the same on the other sides and I'll show you guys this when it's all done. This might have turned out better if I had waited a bit. I got a little antsy and uh, got it's still actually wet right now, but this is, see there, it's from the spider fly effect, and I have her on the sides, kicking in, but it's a cute little box with Cindy Moon, also known as Silk. So that's another thing you can do with comics is mosh podge them. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and that if you try it, wait for it to try. And don't do anything that opens. And if you do something that opens, cut it before that. Uh, I made a lot of bad choices. <laughs>